haven't seen it, you've unseen it. Unseen Radio. You're listening to Veg Music Review Corner on Unseen Radio. Hello everyone, hope you're alright, welcome to the Veg Music Review Corner. How are you all doing? You're listening to Unseen Radio, this is the podcast, you can find us on YouTube, we do this every week. This is the first song that we're going to be talking about with my two guests today. It's by a band called Strangers and the song is Fires. Running in circles, spinning around, nothing ever happens in this town. I guess that I've always known, I was too scared to show the way that I feel now as we call under covers to hide from the things that we know. Team Radio Review Corner with their song Fires. You can download that for free. They're doing a free download every month up to the end of the year. That was October's download, so we've got November's and December's to go. And then you'll have, well, how long have they been doing it? I think you might have five or six free songs to download, which I think is a really good idea. Then rather than just putting out one free EP of five songs to do one each month, if you've got sort of, well, the height that they've got, I'd say they're not, you know, they're not the most massive band in the world, but they get quite a bit of love and if you can do that I think it's a fantastic idea and I think if you're listening and you're in a band maybe follow suit maybe you should do a free track every month anyway this is the review corner and we're going to review that song with our two guests today we've got James Hodemaker and Duncan Bizzat how are the two of you? very well thank you yeah I'm very fine good. thank you Ben thank you thank you for coming on can I first say 
Uh, what did you think of Strangers? Should we start with James? I, I actually thought it was uh, uh, quite good. It's got a nice little beat to it. It's uh, quite reminiscent of um, a bit more modern killers as well as uh, fun. Um, it, like I said, it had a nice beat to it and I think for me there was probably a bit too much of an anticipation of a build-up uh, with uh, but then it, it delivered with you know that little uh, musical uh, instrumental moment so it was quite nice and I, I think I think yeah uh, yeah this band could probably go quite far it, it's something that you could see people singing along to at shows or if if one day they make it say playing Glastonbury then you know you could see eight thousand fans sing along going whoa oh, 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 you know doing something like that it, it'd be fantastic yeah it's not the uh, the hardest thing to learn <laughs> exactly yeah, yeah. Has to be I went to see one <laughs> one gig and he was sort of getting into pieces to learn all sorts of it was like I'm going to recite some Shakespeare and I want you to recite it back to me <laughs> that was going to, well no no one's going to do that because it's far too hard to learn not, not these chaps no these no, guys I, are, uh, all no I'm going to say uh, 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 be a slightly yeah. slight contrast that and Shakespeare yeah <laughs> No, I, I really liked that. I thought that was um, that was you know ch- tuneful, fun, quite memorable. It's, it's got that nice little hook. The and okay, it's a little bit, almost a little bit cheesy, but yeah. that's what actually kind of stick makes songs stick in people's memories. Having a hook, and if you're going to do something which is kind of so obviously pop, then you've got to do it well. You know, mm. it's got to have something that people will remember, and I think you know, if people if people heard that on the radio, it might well stick in their their head for the rest of the day, and they might well be sort of humming it to themselves at the end of the day still. So I thought that was good. Yeah, exactly. But I think that's the thing that you get sort of people who are making pop music, but they don't want to admit that they're making pop music. <laughs> and it feel like they had this problem. Well, unless they're on something like X Factor, and. Then yeah straight away oh, and they'll be like oh yeah I'm a pop musician all this that and the other yeah. mm. but they've got no yeah. skill <laughs> yeah and, 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 I, and I agree I thought the, I thought the beat of it was actually quite nice because it was a little bit different it's a yeah. little bit uh, yeah. again something something to, to sort of latch on to not too sort of standard so yeah it was good yeah do you uh, listen to much electronic music either of you, you um, I listen to like uh Occasionally, I listen to dubstep as well as what's known as uh, ele- electronic hardcore. So, like for me, if it's electronic hardcore, it's like Enter Shikari, I See Stars. Mm-hmm. Um, but at the same time, like I, I do like to come back from uh, hardcore and metal, and you know, you know, listen to some uh, some electronic music like this. You know, yeah. I, I do appreciate, say, like Sweet Shouts Mafia as well. You know, but. So a lot of people are sort of quite anti-music that's made on computers. I think you can have a quite a good um, blend of it, though. Yeah. Yes. Um, I mean, you, you can't... You, comp- having computers makes it so so much more accessible to make music yeah. that it makes it easier for people to, to just get ideas down. doesn't mean you can't have live instruments as well. Yeah. Um, but it does give you lots of options. Yeah. It doesn't give you talent, <laughs> but it does. It gives people who have got talent, you know, an easier way to actually get that down and across. Yeah. Um, and I've got no problem with it at all. You know. Yeah. I as well. I've I've got no problem with people doing electronic music off their computers and what have you. And if they make good music, fair play to them. I'll just say, uh, people now review it for example um i saw it's it's random but i saw a post on on like facebook where someone was saying that skrillex is more superior than a band than say like slayer which for me is a complete contrast because one they're two different genres in itself two uh and they were saying that skrillex uh, composes perfectly timed material while Slayer is just thrashing the guitars, beating the drums, which is complete nonsense to me. Because Slayer, you know, they've been around for, what, 30-plus years? And they've dominated the thrash metal scene. And the thing is, they wouldn't be at the position that they're in without being respected musicians. I mean, they understand, like, uh, tempo, beats, and everything like that, and they've mastered it on so many different levels. You know, Skrillex is a great composer when it comes to electronic music, but still, you know two different sides of the coin that you can look at go combine electronic and guitars 
It's the way forwards. I do like that. Yeah, I, I fancy. Yeah. I, I don't know the. This, these guys, yeah. but I fancied there was some, you know, some live guitar in that, yes. in that, mm -hmm. which I thought was quite good. It was a, again, it was slightly, um, uh, it wasn't quite what you expected, because it was almost that, that it was almost like uh, uh, they'll hate me if I say it, it was almost a little bit sort of like Mike Oldfield dingly dingly sort of guitar in there. <laughs> so someone's probably going to come and kill me for that, but <laughs> well, actually, again, I thought it was pretty good. Yeah, uh, and again, you know, a nice mix to have. Right, fantastic. Thank you very much. So we shall move on to the second track. She's a singer-songwriter. This is from her latest EP. The EP is called In The Night. She's playing at the Labour Club as part of an Inspiration FM night along with JP Brook and Joel Harris. It's an acoustic night. And this is her song. It's called What Became. You had the love to turn around You had the friends to stay but you were choosing to turn us down So your loss will remain Oh, your loss will remain We have been sweeping those fields all year Now, friend, we've lost the fight you watch my pain glisten here in the light of the night Yet you walk on by She had so much to tell you Look who's not listening now You're pointing the finger with secrets to linger Careful, they might fall out What became of Became of oh, what became of oh, what became of us? We have been sweeping those tears all year. Now, friend, we're leaving town. With the intention, trust not to mention We'd be seeing you around No words have yet been spoken No memory been recalled Instead it's just you and only us two But while we're dancing, we know we gave it all What became us? Became of oh, what became of oh, what became of us? 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 Became of Oh, what became of Oh, what became of Oh, what became of us You had the love to turn around you had the friends to stay But you were choosing to turn us down So your loss will remain Oh, your loss will remain That's taken from her In The Night EP and surprise, surprise, it's called What Became In case you were, you didn't catch it on one of the many occasions where she repeated it Our two guests on today's Review Corner uh, James Hodemaker from Closer to Home Productions and Duncan Bizat from the NN Gallery. And let's start with you, Duncan. What did you think of Charlotte? Um, again, I'm feeling really positive tonight. I really like that, actually. Um, I thought when it started, you know, with, with just the, you know a few slow chords and that, I had this sort of sudden fear that it was going to be a kind of bedroom singer-songwritery sort of... Thing. But then, but it picked up nicely and had again a really a nice little nice feel to it. One or two timing issues, 
I think, mm. um, as it went through. It felt, but, it, but it felt very live. Yes. Um, but uh, but no, I'll get, again, I think it was, uh, you know, a nice, a nice cheerful... I mean, OK, lyrically, possibly not the <laughs> most cheerful, but I thought, you know, musically, it was, you know, quite nice and catchy. Um, a lot of space in it, which is good. Uh, you know, she's not being tempted to fill everything with instruments. Um, and, uh, yeah, I liked it. Yeah, I thought it was actually quite interesting. James, what did you make of it? I thought it, I thought it was that, uh, quite nice, uh, lyrically speaking. Obviously not up being that uh, maybe you expect from some acoustic artists, but not everybody can be quite a beat. Um, vocally, I thought she was quite reminiscent of uh, Kate Nash, I thought, which, uh, which I thought was quite interesting. I thought maybe it could have had a little bit something else to it, a bit more, a bit more power to it. So I think really, uh, the way she was playing the guitar it was just a little bit too simple in my opinion. Not well, maybe not too simple, but just a little bit simple. So it could have had that little bit more to it, you know. So uh, I've seen I've seen some like really good acoustic artists. And I'm not saying she's bad or she's below them or anything. I mean, she's great in her own right. Obviously, her EP might prove me wrong, but I feel that it's needing that little extra something to to really hook me in and think, wow, you know. Yep, uh, it's a fair criticism. Uh, J.P. Brook and Joe Harris are the other two at that gig. J.P. Brook is of Oh Boy. He's the band he's in at the moment. Played our first ever live roll-up and uh, speaking of the live roll-up that was seamlessly and accidentally into our third and final track it is taken from the same roll-up that oh boy were on it's by an artist called kenneth j nash and he's playing at the labor club on friday the 15th so the day before the inspiration of m so it's a, a weekend of acoustic act acoustic gigs if you like it's for the oxfam charity it's a night called ox jam we've got phoebe louise Fran Taylor, Apollo's Mob, Lou Bear, got to love a bit of Lou Bear, and uh, Kenneth J. Nash, who also performs with Fran Taylor. His new album, The Brewer and the Dealer, is out now, so give that a listen. I was listening earlier today, it's a very, very good album, but it's not up to me, it's up to our two judges here. Kenneth J. Nash, and this is Leaving Song. Pace these wooden boards for far too many miles, and her faith is gone, and she's running out of smiles. For all you sycophants and traitors of poor virtue, are you? What about you? And you lied and you cheated. ticket sometime last week and you didn't have a clue packed as much as she could carry and she gave away the rest 
Everything was just too much for her And she couldn't match your bills For all you sycophants and traits Of poor virtue are yet What about you? You lied and you cheated All you sick of fans and traits of poor virtue, are you? What about you? You lied and you cheated. All you sick of fans and traits of poor virtue, are you? What about you? You lied and you cheated, and you did on me. It's like you were saying about not all acoustic music being light and upbeat, Jack. <laughs> I've been proven wrong. Yeah, can you say, Nash, that was, that was live. Can you believe that was... That, that was live? That, yeah. Wow. I did that live in the, uh, the studio just downstairs for, uh, for our other show, The Roll Up. This is The Review Corner. My name is Ben Edge. Hello, if you've just joined us. We've played tracks today by Strangers and Charlotte Carpenter, and that's the third. Kenneth J. Nash, she's playing at the Ox Jam charity event at the Labour Club. The Labour Club is such a great intimate venue for stuff like that. I can imagine that just seeing him playing that and in that room, it would be. It might be something, or it might not be. I shall ask today's guest. So we'll go to James first. I honestly thought that was really good. Yeah. I've, uh, <laughs> Nat, there was, uh, it reminded me of um, like Johnny Cash's Hurt. There was like a lot of, a lot of heart behind it. And uh, yeah, you know, it, it's one of those songs uh, where you can sit, listen to it, and ha have a think at the same time. You know, think about think about things in your life. You know, where it's going, or how you feel about you know certain issues or what have you. You know, whether it helps you in the long run, or whether it's just something to uh, to maybe comfort you or just set you on the right direction. <clears throat> I thought it was yeah. You know, musically... You're breaking up here, James. You're sorry, sorry. It's, uh, <laughs> it really touched me, man. It's just touched me. We'll leave you, we'll leave you there. Yeah. You just go weep in the corner. Oh, we'll, come we'll. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come on to Duncan. Um, yeah, I have to say I didn't like it as much as the previous two songs we've listened to. OK. Um, I thought it needed something more, actually, um, in terms of... Um, uh, sort of more of a sort of melodic hook for me, really. Um, it was very nicely played and performed and so on. There was a bit of violin under the choruses mm -hmm. and I just thought that could have actually they could have made more use of the violin in the piece and, and got a, just a little bit more of a, of a medley going. Perhaps I'm too much into my diddly-dee folk and I would like I like more sort of tunes and that was really... That's that was a, a you might say a very mellow song. James is still crying, by the way, everyone. Um, <laughs> can't, can't hold back the tears. Yeah. Can't to, hold to back. me that 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 <laughs> strayed beyond reflective into maudlin, and I really would have preferred something a, a little bit with a little bit more to cling on to. Really, would you have preferred something with more of an instrumental? a bit like in the middle or near the end where violin hmm. maybe took precedence yeah i think so i, I you know i'd i'd, I'd like to i'd just like, like to hear a little bit more tune in it but you know matter of taste <laughs> by, by the way i've come out of the corner now i've managed to hold hmm. back those tears 
Well, well done for chess. <laughs> yeah, I think I thought that was great. I thought it was great songwriting, great lyricism, and you know, great portray. What one my great delivery? Some people have two, but not the other. But he seems to have really get the three bang on. I would say so. Maybe it's just you, Doug. Okay, it's just <laughs> it's okay, Monday night, it. and I want to listen to things that cheer me up. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure it's all you know, yeah. deeply felt. And as I say, it was it was it was well yeah. well performed, um, well played. Can't fault it. I just for me, it's just too far into that sort of deeply reflective sort of zone. And I would just prefer something a little bit more up at this point in my life. <laughs> yeah, so we'll, we'll play the Charlotte Carpenter track again yeah. then. Yeah. yeah, you can have that. So uh, thank you to my two guests for joining me tonight. We've had Duncan Bizat from the NN Gallery. What's going on at NN soon? Well, we've got uh, an exhibition on at the moment, jointly with the uh, Museum and Art Gallery, featuring work by Susan McWilliam. Mm -hmm. And then the next exhibition we've got is our open exhibition. So people can um, submit work to be considered to be shown in that exhibition and the details of how to do that are on the uh, NN Gallery website. Fantastic. And James Hodemaker, thank you for coming from Close to Home Productions. What's yes. happening? Um, we've got uh, quite a few shows in the works at the moment. Um, we've got some uh, he uh, heavy metal ones in the works. And on the 16th of November, we've got uh, all we have coming to town who are who is uh, Ed Gibbs new band he was the vocalist of Devil Soul his soul oh, wow and uh, we've got him coming to town so I'm I'm stoked about that happening uh, being supported by sincerity from Kent who I had the pleasure of um, working with back in July as well as local boys in her dying memory from Wellingborough Oracle mm -hmm. from Northampton and as Frodo from uh, Kettering I do believe uh, is that how you pronounce it I, that's just Kettering, how I yeah, yeah, that's how you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some people say Kettering, Kettering, you know. I thought it's it, it the Ketto. Twentieth, <laughs> <laughs> um, we've got Akoda who are mm -hmm. coming to town with Veracruz from France. Um, that's in support of their debut album, Yours to Defend. A uh, little plug there for Akoda Sorry. Um, so they're coming to town, and on the thirteenth, we've got Welsh hardcore. Um, Megastars Continents with Fathoms coming to town as well as support from who the fuck are supporting Embrace the Tide from Milton Keynes uh, who else Ascend the Skies from Market Harbour and uh, Asphodel again this is yeah. impressive I mean there's no notes can I just say this is all off the top of this man's head yes and so either he's very good at making it up or <laughs> <laughs> no uh, no, no I've I've, had, I've been working on these for months, if I'm right. honest. And also, every two weeks, got acoustic shows going at the Penny Whistle. Got a uh, Yumiya CP launch coming up uh, this Sunday. And that would have been. That would have been, fair yes. enough. Um, but wasn't it brilliant, everyone? Oh, it was <laughs> fantastic. I do love a bit of Yumi Yas. Um, but no, I do. Uh, so, on the 17th, every two weeks, uh, acoustic shows at the Penny Whistle, free entry. Uh, so come down, jam to some cool acoustic artists from in and around Northampton. So, and where are the uh, where are the heavier sort of gigs? Um, where are they happening? At the moment, they were supposed to be taking place at the Racehorse and Big Noise Studios, but at the moment, working on getting them relocated. Um, all we have and a coda are being relocated to the Avenue Campus SU Bar. Okay. So I'm stoked about that. Um, and continents I need to relocate as soon as possible mm -hmm. preferably road mender but still need to make uh, make contact with them fantastic and you can find them at close to home productions on Facebook promotions Promo sorry that's yeah, right. <laughs> close to home promotions <laughs> yeah on Facebook yes you can find all of our shows on there brilliant well it is I'd like to say which was your favourite track of the night The Strangers The Charlotte Carpenter or The Kenneth Jane Ash I think it was Charlotte Carpenter uh, I'm going to go with The Strangers. Oh. I'm going with Kenneth J. Nash. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for coming and joining us today on The Review Corner. We'll be back next week with another panel of guests discussing more tracks from this wonderful town of Northampton and the surrounding county area. 
I've been Ben Edge. This has been the Review Corner on Unseen Radio Podcast. Over and out.